temperature's starting to warm up here in New York. It's Friday the 13th, be careful. <laughs> You're superstitious. I am, I am. I watch out, man. I'm only watching across the street. My name is Marcus Conti, YouTube blogger, commentator. I want to thank everybody for the comments down below. Price, Judy Cop, Hasty. Ooh, Hasty. <laughs> New guy, sharp tongue. I wanted to, uh, I, I think you're right about that, uh, that uh, shadow blocking thing. It's probably true. We should look, you know, look more into it. I made a lot of enemies in New York, you know. I made a lot of enemies in New York politics, so that sort of thing of, you know, being blocked or banned, or, that's not unrealistic at all, so. But that's okay. We could, you know, the bigger, if, if what I'm saying, it's not me. Again, I, I, I don't want to take credit for any of this shit, right? But if it's, if it's, uh, you know, if the message is real and we exceed the margin of cheating, it'll only grow. It's, not, it's just a matter of time. So, um, so, so today I want to, uh, I want to read in this, this is, uh, this video is titled, um, Nine Adolf Hitler Strategies and Why the U.S. Government Uses Them. Right? See, first of all, I wanna I wanna dispel the notion that hit that Trump is Hitler, right? Or okay, hit, Trump is Trump is not Hitler. Trump is Trump can be Hitler because Trump has no no spine or no real ideology, right? He lies like the rest of them, right? You saw him in the campaign. He, one day he said this, and one day he said that. It's all, you know, it's whatever works, you know. It's all about victory. So what I'm going to read in is the, um, I can't read and walk at the same time. So I'll stop. I'll read them all in, and then we'll com I'll comment on them all when, when I'm done. And then they're not in any particular order, but they're fascinating. Check this out. So nine Adolf Hitler strategies and why the U.S. government uses them. Number one, he alone who owns the youth gains the future. Ooh. Number two, it is always more difficult to fight against faith than to fight against knowledge. Number three, hate is more lasting than dislike. Number four, the victor will never be asked if he is told if he told the truth. The victor will never be asked if he told the truth. Remember that one. We're gonna get back to that. One. That's a that's a big one. Doesn't seem like much. Number five. If you tell a big enough lie and tell it frequently enough, it will be believed. <laughs> Russia, Russia, Russia. Right? It is not the truth that matters, but victory. Ah, Vic Hillary Victory Fund. You remember that? Hillary Victory Fund. I use, number seven, I use emotion for the many and reserve reason for the few. Ah, it's masterful, right? Adolf Hitler. Number eight. All propaganda has to be popular and has to accommodate itself to the comprehension of the least intelligent of those whom it seeks to reach. You just simplify the lie. That's all it is. That's what he's saying. And you just keep repeating it. Number nine. Any alliance whose purpose is not the intention to wage war is senseless and useless. Right? Is the U.S. government using this stuff? Of course. Is it Trump doing it? No. Trump is caught in the crossfire. Right? It's the oligarchy and it's, you know, it's the, the, the donors who pay the politicians off and, you know, and, and, um, and are using all of this stuff. It's not that, it's not new. So the first one, he alone who owns the youth gains the future. That's the, that's the definition of what I was trying to say in the military-industrial complex uh, video where, you know, literally, to, to, you saw I stepped foot on the fort or outside, and, you know, and I'm in my neighborhood. They know who I am, right? So I even come close to the military fort, and the fucking, you know, you saw the Gestapo come flying out the door, you know, you know racing into the park to, 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 to get me, you know? And all I had to do was say, oh, I was outside... I would, because that sign really is about, is about handing out leaflets or protesting. And technically, if I said, oh, I don't believe in what you guys are doing inside, that's a, that's a protest and they, they'll, they'll arrest you for that. That's where we're at, right? Read the sign. Go back and watch the video. 
So he who controls the youth, right? That's the poverty draft, right? That's what we're, that's the whole shit right now, right? The poverty draft because if you control the youth, you control the army, you control the uh, the fate of the military, right? You can right? It, it's it's in this undeniable. So so you have the parkland shooting, right? Targeting the kids, getting them accustomed to gunshots and it's all fake, right? There's no 17 bodies. We, we, where? It's all bullshit, right? So control the youth, and then they turned it into a voter drive. So number one is very important. Number two, it is always more difficult to fight against faith than against knowledge. Yeah, true, right? That's why the establishment doesn't... They gave up on that Christian right thing. Remember when they were talking, everybody was... It's because they're Christian. <laughs> Remember when they were talking about that? Oh, Christian, right. I don't talk about that anymore. Because that's a hard one to beat. You don't fuck with someone's religion. If you want to if you want to conquer them, you don't do that, right? You don't do that. So you go after knowledge, which is more vulnerable to the sleepy masses, right? People are... I'm just trying to stay out of the wind, so I'm moving around. Um, I'll stay here. So, so... Uh, so don't attack their faith, attack their knowledge, which is minimal, and you use mainstream media to do it. Just to keep telling the same lie over and over. Right? Hate is more lasting. Number three, hate is more lasting than dislike. Damn right it is, right? Hate, they hate Trump. I talk to, you know, older folks, <laughs> older folks, people my age, and, and hate Trump. Ooh. Oh, that man, he's, he's, a, he's nasty. <laughs> So they're, 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 what they're doing is they're, they're, um, they're, harv- they're not harvesting, but they're, they're manufacturing the hate. And then they, they harvest it later when they try to steal the election again, right? Because, again, it's not about free and fair elections anymore. All it is is about, because the, the elections are clearly rigged. So all you have to do is manufacture the consent, right? And when they steal it, then, again, the object is to not have you know, public dissent, where the masses say, oh, shit, we got robbed, right? You gotta, you can't have that happen. That's that's a big no-no. That's why they, they tried to, you know, stuff the Bernie Sanders thing so, so intensely. So, this is not good. Four, the victor will never be asked if he told the truth. Did, so did Donald Trump win? Who won? Because... They're asking, the establishment is asking Trump if he told the truth, right? That's the whole premise of the, the Mueller investigation, right? Did he lie? Right? That's all it is, right? But we know full well who lied. We know the Clintons were lying, the, the Clinton Foundation. Look at, you know, um, Charles Ortel's work on the Clinton Foundation, how he exposes. It, it's a, the very essence of quid pro quo, how the money flowed in and how the favors were given out. So... So, um, but they don't question it. Why? Because they won. See, it wasn't about, it wasn't about Hillary. It would have been nice. But it, it's really not about Hillary because they could, they can impose the same, the same picture. They can superimpose the same image on Trump. All they're going to do is keep pressuring him and you're already seeing him start to fold. You know, like he's not going to drain no swamp. Right, he got right in that swamp and fucking is bathing in the swamp. He loves it. Right? Um, number five, if you tell a big enough lie and tell it frequently enough, it will be believed. That, that's the that's that's the, the the bulk of it. Russia, Russia, Russia. Keep telling the same lie that they they did. They all this damage they did was their fault, right? Right? It's a, you know an aggressive foreign nation stole your election. It wasn't the truth, right? And then superimpose that, that um, uh, you know, superimpose that on Trump, right? Once you have your enemy, Russia, now you say that Trump is in bed with Russia. It's just psychology 101, really. Deep state shit, right? Psychology, they're fucking with you. Number six, it is not truth that matters but victory. Right. Right. The truth doesn't matter anymore. Evidence. We don't do evidence. Remember the FBI guy on TV saying that in the, in the, in the hearings? Oh, no, we don't, we don't do evidence. Huh. We don't do evidence. 
fucking this is crazy, isn't it? The Hillary Victory Fund. It's in the definition. It's victory. All you have to do is win. It doesn't matter what. It doesn't matter. Nothing else matters but winning. That's the Wall Street mentality. Right? You're going to get health care, universal health care with that. You're not going to get goddamn buses loud. You're not going to get, you know, solar panels on roofs. You're not going to crush the oil companies. Right? None of that shit's going to happen, right? Because it's all about winning and the 1% is in charge, right? Victory, right? Fuck the truth. We can't. How we go? How, how, see, if the equation was the truth matters, then the 99% would win because the 99% know the truth. But who always wins? It's a little 1%. Right? So I got all the money. I got all the control. So what's the next one? I use emotion for the many and reserve reason for the few. Right. The, the Trump hate bullshit, right? Hate, 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 right? It's emotion. They're stirring up emotion, right? And reason for the few, you know? That's like the intellectuals will, right? That, that's, a, that's a vague one, but do what you will with it. Number eight, all propaganda has to be popular and has to accommodate itself to comprehend to the comprehension of the least intelligent of those who seek to reach it. You just have to keep the lie simple, right? That's what mainstream media does. You don't, you know, you when, that, and that's why Trump is so popular and so effective because he doesn't, he doesn't use, you know, words with more than five, five letters in them. Right? You know, and he keeps saying the same thing over and over again and he keeps it very simple and then, Almost always he contradicts himself. Like he'll say something and then he'll say the opposite of something in, within the you know within the context of the same conversation. So Trump is a very effective leader if you want to lead a, a authoritarian you know authoritarian uh, uh, regime, right? Hillary Clinton too. They're all Hillary Clinton's you know arguably. Yeah. You know, much smarter, much more intelligent, much more cunning than Trump, yeah. which makes him more dangerous. But, but, but Trump, Trump is 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 mutable. He could be bought, right? Because that's all he cares about is money. That's been his whole life about you know the art of the deal, right? So, Trump is an excellent representation of what authoritarianism can be. But again, it's not Trump. Per se, it's not Hillary per se. You have to keep your eye on the ball and not lose track that it's a deep state play that stems, and it's all about the money. It's always about the money. Number nine: any alliance whose purpose is not the intention to wage war is senseless and useless. Right? See, th that's why Russia is a good enemy because Russia is a, a strong, independent nation, nuclear armed, and doesn't buy into the the, the, the bullshit, right? Neither does China, right? So they're, they're technically a good target, right, to, to what the fuck did I just say? To, to wage, right, if it's, you don't want to, you don't want to, um, let me read it again, I got to start off, I lost my train of thought. Any alliance whose purpose is not the intention to wage war is senseless and, and, and useless, right, because Russia will never side with, with the U.S. in terms of these, you know, the junk bonds and the, the imperialism and the New World Order. They're not interested. Neither is China. They're all set. They're set in their ways. The U.S. is, is a whore. And they're, you know, they're whoring themselves out to the corporations. So that's not a senseless war. But, see, the purpose of alliance to wage war is with the, with the Arab nations, Right? Iraq, Iran, Israel, Jordan, Libya, fucking Syria, right? That's where you create alliances to wage war on your enemy, right? In Syria, prime example, where you go in and and um, create a conflict, start a war, and your alliances are not with Russia. Your alliance, your your competitor is Russia. You see the whole. The whole idea. So what Hitler is saying is that you're not going to lie with them if you're not if your intention is not to wage war on the you know with them, join them in the fight. 
So anyway, that was that was a winded a winded discussion, but I hope it, it clarifies some of um, some of the unclarity about who Trump is and how he plays into the the idea of a Nazi regime or an authoritarian nation or a police state of which we are you know, I don't think anybody argues that that's what we're seeing, right? So, my name is Marcus Conti, columnist, journalist, YouTube blogger, author, musician. Subscribe to the station. Maybe we won't get cock-blocked, you know? <laughs> Hopefully we'll grow. Peace out.